Hello everyone. Today is Saturday, January 13th, 2024 at 10.06 a.m. in the morning. Um, I almost accidentally slipped and said 2023. So, <clears throat> excuse me. That's that perp making a tapping noise. Um, so... I have less than an hour to get out of here, and I um, have to find somewhere to go or where to be. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I have to find somewhere to go or find somewhere to be for the next few hours. Uh, I don't feel like riding the buses or don't want to even ride the dog on bus you know so I've got, I mean the, the reason why I'm not gonna stay here because well I can't financially afford to stay here longer um it costs a little more at this hotel and then you know the weekend that they raise the prices and it costs more <clears throat> excuse me and then making another reservation would you know have to deal with paying the um deposit or whatever you know and then the restaurants on site is like expensive you know and as i said i had to um miss certain meals or skip certain meals or try to live off a of dollar tree and then my body feel weak all day <clears throat> excuse me so i'm trying to um see what other um, hotel or motels or something that would cost less or be cheaper um, you know <coughs> excuse me so I'm gonna hold off on for the for this very second um, I'm going to hold off on talking about an incident that just happened this morning. But what I will say is um, I went, I mean, I was wrestling on whether, whether or not to go to breakfast because I knew it would cost so much. But, you know, I, I guess I'll try to skip lunch today, you know, maybe. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I try to skip lunch. And um so what happened was um I wrestled on whether or not to go to breakfast and then at the last minute I caved in and went, you know. And of course I didn't get on here and be like, Hey y'all, you know, I'm about to go get breakfast. No, I didn't do that, but, um, I was, and I, I didn't bring my phone with me, and so, I went to, um, like, right before I was to turn into the little restaurant and, um, go eat, <coughs> excuse me, there was, a, um, a perp and a silver Ford Explorer, that looked like it could have been maybe 2008 model or later, somewhere between 2008 and 2014 model of um, Ford Explorer. It was a silver Ford, a perp and a silver, silver Ford Explorer with tinted windows. And they were sitting there waiting for me. <coughs> Excuse me. And then when I went to go and eat breakfast, um, the moment I turned 
in like the very second just before I was supposed to turn in to the entrance to go into the little dining area that's when the perp drove off you know like monitoring and babysitting me like you wanted to get that confirmation that I was going to breakfast but I think it was excuse me yesterday it was a perp in a black Nissan Murano that was sitting there and um look like maybe 2015 model or something um Nissan Murano and they sat there and watched, monitored and watched me eat the whole entire time yesterday. And also um, had their lights on the whole time. Now, yesterday I had a, you know, perfect breakfast experience. But to this morning, <clears throat> excuse me, I had a um, strange breakfast experience. But as I said, I hope I remember every detail and... <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm so, I'm sorry. I got a lot of <clears throat> excuse me the mucus in my throat, um, in chest. So I'm sorry about that, y'all. <clears throat> sorry. So yeah, yeah. Last night I brushed my teeth and a lot of mucus came out and I think I still got some left, you know. <clears throat> so that is the re in the tooth abscess and that is the reason why for me coughing or clearing my throat. I'm sorry, y'all. It's not on purpose. So not also suffer Tourette's. So also um um yeah, I'll talk about the weird incident that happened I'll talk about it later on because the next place I go I don't still don't know yet where I'll be at and also I don't know if that place will have Wi-Fi or not if it will be a hotel or a motel or if that place has Wi-Fi so I'm just taking everything one day at a time and don't know what to expect you know I I gotta just plan only like day by day because I don't know if or when if I you know if or when I'll get the the job opportunity you know so until then you know I would hate to pay for a motel or something for a whole week and then they end up calling me Monday you know or if I do each one day at a time for a hotel or a motel and then next thing you know um you know hotel or motel and then next thing you know they um you know then I may not be shipped out until Friday or next week I don't know I have no idea I don't know yet so I just got to wait for the background check. So the speaking of the job opportunity, the fake Darnell Williams perp, that's not his real name. Um, well, I didn't get the job opportunity from Indeed. But he, I don't even know how he would have access to my Indeed account that he tried to tell me last night, you know, using my picture and using goofy, silly, satanic images, you know, perverting my pictures to look satanic. And then he started harassing me, saying that he's going to find out what job on Indeed that I found. And he, he said, I'm going to find out where... He, he threatened to find out where I work at and sabotage my job. But at the same time, he harasses me every day about how I should get a job or say, why are you not at work or why you, um, you know, did you look for any jobs today? And he, he, he is so badly trying to sabotage me with the real job, like what they did with the airport. And they want me to start gang stalking and being a prostitute. I don't want to do that. So they sabotage me any jobs, housing, or anything. And they're trying to beat me into submission. I'm just documenting what they're doing. 